I don't know about you, but God is doing the most interesting things with me. For some reason, he seems intent upon breaking me completely. I know what his motives are. I even know what his ultimate goal is. But it doesn't make the process any easier, does it? And he keeps wanting to move me into a deeper level of faith and trust in him. And to get away from my wretched self-reliance and independence, to quit singing that old song, My Way, and start singing Thy Way every day of my life. And I think he's broken me to a certain point and I'm rejoicing and then he hits me again. Just this week, interestingly enough, yesterday in fact, uh, driving down here I had to return a phone call. So I stopped at one of those rest areas and I just called the number across the country. And uh, as I'm talking to this person, God hits me again. Well, you ready for your latest little test? I said, oh. (laughs) God said, hey, you gave me permission to try you. You actually, in a moment of great weakness, said to me, he reminded me of this, I give you permission to take away any hindrance to your perfect will being done in my life. I confess this morning that many times I've almost regretted that I gave God that permission. But yesterday he uh, asked me, and this is a test, I know, because I gave my car away, some of you may remember. Was that last year when he asked me to do that? And now this week he's asked me again. He said, I'm looking at your car again. I said, well, it's your car, Lord. (laughs) He said, well, but, uh, and this phone call cemented it, he said, but I think I might need your house. That's what he said to me yesterday. So I stood there at that little wayside stop (laughs) on the phone and I just looked up and I said, well, so be it. Because whatever you are asking me to do, I am gradually learning. It's in my best interest And it's to your glory. So I took a mustard seed step of faith yesterday and I said to God, okay, I'm prepared to let the house go. You need it, you may have it. And he said, well, listen carefully to this phone call you're getting because you'll know where to give it. God is incredible, isn't he? Have you had your faith tested recently? There may be somebody here like me this morning that God's saying, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your house. I'm saying, all right, look at it. <laughs> Take it if you want it. Take it, it's okay. Because you're the owner of everything anyway. You know? Take it. If someone's need is greater than mine. I'm sure there's plenty like that. Take it, Lord. 20 years ago, I would have said to God, are you sure it's my house you're looking at? <laughs> The one next door is so much nicer. (laughs) And God's saying, I want yours. I praise him for the peace that I felt on the telephone yesterday. I really do. A great peace came over me as he impressed my mind to simply say, okay, it's fine. It's fine. 